to be a paradox with this illness, smokers appear immune to COVID-19 and this respiratory virus. Wait, what if I told you that the very thing you've been told is harmful might actually heal? No, I'm not talking about snake oil. I'm talking about nicotine in its pure form, stripped from cigarettes, unchained from the poison of big tobacco, and backed by science. Now, before you click away thinking I've lost my mind, hear me out. There's a reason nicotine is found in nature. There's a reason indigenous cultures used it medicinally, and there's a reason that some of the top researchers in the world are now studying it as a potential therapy, not a toxin. So in this video, I'm going to show you the 10 most powerful science-backed benefits of pure nicotine. And I know it's getting a lot of hype right now. I'm seeing a ton of stuff on this online. And there are many shocking ways that it's helping people recover from long COVID. That's actually what started kind of uncovering the truth on nicotine. This isn't just hype, this is the truth. So stick with me until the very end because I'm going to share what might change the way you see medicine and your body's ability to heal from it. So first, what is nicotine really? Let's cut through the smoke, literally. Nicotine is naturally occurring compound found in plants of the nightshade family, including tobacco, but also things like tomatoes, eggplants, potatoes, green peppers. Surprised you are not alone. When I heard this, I was shocked. And honestly, I still have to convince my family of this. Sometimes they look at me like I'm crazy. Nicotine isn't a man-made poison. It's a plant alkaloid. It's synthesized by the plant to ward off insects. It's a natural pesticide. But when it's isolated in pure form in small doses and used properly, it has some pretty fascinating effects on the human brain and body. The problem is it's gotten a bad rap. Why? Because it's tied to cigarettes, which contain over 7,000 chemicals, many of them proven carcinogenics. But pure nicotine is not the same as a cigarette. So let's look at what the science actually says on this. The benefits of pure nicotine. Number one, cognitive enhancement. Nicotine is like flipping a switch in your brain. It stimulates the acetylcholine receptors, boosting focus, attention, and memory. That's why people feel more sharp after a cigarette. But in its pure form, without the smoke, you get the benefit without the baggage. Number two, neuroprotection. Studies suggest that nicotine can actually protect neurons from degeneration. Research is looking into how it may slow or prevent diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. That's not fringe science, that's neuroscience, you guys. Number three, Parkinson's disease. This is wild. Long-term smokers have been shown to have a lower risk of developing Parkinson's, not because of the smoke, but likely because of the nicotine. It stimulates dopamine, the very neurotransmitter that Parkinson's patients lack. Number four, weight management. Nicotine is a natural appetite suppressant. It slightly increases the metabolism. I'm not saying to go out and smoke and you're going to lose weight, but low dose therapeutic nicotine has shown promise in helping people manage hunger naturally. Number five, and this is one of the reasons I started looking into nicotine, ADHD symptom support. Because nicotine boosts dopamine, it may improve focus and attention in people with ADHD, especially those who are sensitive to traditional meds like Adderall as well as Ritalin. Number six, mood regulation. Nicotine has mild antidepressant effects. It's no coincidence that many people use it during stress. It acts on serotonin and dopamine, which can help stabilize mood, especially in those battling low-grade depression or anxiety. Number seven, schizophrenia. Did you know that over 80% of people with schizophrenia use nicotine? It's not just a habit, it's neurological. Nicotine improves sensory gating, and it may help calm the brain's overactivity. That's why researchers are now studying it as a therapeutic tool. Number eight, anti-inflammatory properties. Nicotine has been shown to reduce inflammation, especially in autoimmune conditions like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Yes, you may have heard that right, nicotine helping heal the gut. Number nine, 
Studies have shown that nicotine can act as a mild pain relief. It basically duels the pain pathways in the brain, so it helps with pain management. It's not a replacement for painkillers, but it could be a useful piece of the puzzle in chronic pain protocols. Number 10, physical performance. Athletes have used nicotine gum or patches to improve reaction time, endurance, and strength. Is it cheating? That's debated, but the physiological effects are very real and more and more people are waking up to this. So now let's talk, this is kind of a bonus. Let's talk COVID and nicotine. This one is going to raise eyebrows a bit, but it is already helping people. Doctors have been quietly using nicotine patches to help treat patients suffering from long COVID symptoms. Many are seeing real improvements. And why is that? Likely it is due to the effects on inflammation, neurotransmission, and immune regulation. Am I telling you to slap on a patch today? No, but I am telling you to do your own research. Patches are something that me and my family have been using for many, many months, and we have seen awesome, awesome benefits. You can also research how to wear the patches. It doesn't mean you wear the big patch. You can cut them in smaller pieces. So do your research on this. I am not telling you to go out and buy a package of cigarettes. When used intentionally, therapeutically, and under medical guidance, nicotine may actually be a part of the healing arsenal that your body needs, okay? So now you know it's not a bad habit. It's just been misunderstood. Our ancestors understood that plants weren't just for ceremony. They were medicine. And today, science is finally catching up. It's like all of this has been hidden from us. We just have to be brave enough to look past the propaganda and ask, what is the truth beneath the fear? So if this blew your mind like it did mine, share it. Let's start the conversation in the comments below. And remember, the power to heal was never in a pill. It was always in the plants and in you.